When you're perfectly good health, you're an activist, you're doing everything right, you got a healthy, strong body, got a couple cute girlfriends, I got some decent stuff going on, I'm doing, I have, I have a good life, you know, I'm doing the right thing, and then I get a stomach ache. Uh, just like that, I'm in physical condition like you wouldn't believe. And a doctor looks you right in the eyes that day, and you go from having a stomach ache and starting to puke and getting worse and worse and worse to you're full of cancer and said your guts. You'd be dead in two months. Try that one. Oh, I lived it. The next doctor comes in. It's not good. Don't you lie to me. You'll be dead probably in the next 60 days. Mm -hmm. They biopsy it. The only chance is open your gut. You got no chance. <clears throat> Try that one. Try that one. Finally, Vincent Hansen, who I know since I was a little boy. Thomas Blanche, a famous heart surgeon, one of the most famous heart surgeons in American history, who worked with the prophet of the Mormon church right now, who invented a lot of, I saved so many people. His business partner, Vincent Hansen, got involved. He says, Kevin, I, I got on the internet and I dug and dug and dug and dug. And I found, I said, what about it being leukemia? And Silverman, the pathologist, had it wrong. Everybody had, I said, maybe they're wrong. Vincent believed in me. Why? Because his father and brother both died of thyroid cancer. Utah Down Winters when he was a boy. He says, Kevin, I've known you since you was a kid. So he laid me on my back, and his assistants, the San Diego girl, dug into my hip and bone marrow biopsied me. He put a lot of work, he fought with everybody. He says, that's what it is. It's de nouveau. The survival is very low. But we have a cutting edge bone marrow transplant at the top of LDS, a Danish philosophy doctor named Finn. I talked him into taking you. I went into the bone marrow transplant on 11 11 11 with no chance no chance I'm still here so if you don't think that will rattle your world and change everything I watched my father die of the disease I watched Annika my mate the activist that I work with from the Ukraine Chernobyl I watched her die I held her hand when she died in the prime of her life and you want to see oh she looked like that girl on the cars freaking thing and she had a brain oh, I learned so much about Chernobyl she says they came to her house and got her two brothers that night. Wow. Says, you got 30 minutes, let's go. Both her brothers were part of the uh, guys who went onto the roof in the 90 second intervals. By the way, they're doing that right now at the University of Washington. They're letting the guys in for 90, uh, uh, excuse me, for I believe nine minute intervals to go into the building right now. Just like, think about Chernobyl. But both those guys, her brothers were both dead within two years. You don't think this kills you? You're a fool. You're a fool. The Pacific Ocean, so, you know, we can, you can go to Nile all you want. Go ahead. Not me. Again, I consider myself, after all this ugly, ugly journey, thank you to everybody supporting this historic work. Thank you to the radio station. Thank you for, there's a few people on this campus that still believe in me. You know, the people that turned their back on me, you can rot in hell as far as I'm concerned. Because I've done nothing but tell the truth. I've done nothing but fight the good fight, the righteous fight. You know, I fight for her, she fights for me. The sea, the ecology, I fight for you. You know, even the people, I love my enemies. I'm trying to save you from you. I try to save all living things. I'm doing the right thing. I've always done the right thing since Fukushima happened for the day. Yet, I'm this guy. His name was Augusta Landmeiser. That's who I am. The rest of you, you can be that. And you could be on the dirty Herbie, you could be all of them, and you could be on the wrong side of history. Go ahead. Go ahead, because contemporary society, contemporary culture, contemporary politics, and you on the winning team, it is not your friend. You know, confront the disease, survive the disease, and that's all we have. Well, I love my grandchildren, I love your grandchildren. You know, you don't want to protect them? You don't want to stand up for the environment and the ecology? Good, I'll do it for you. <laughs> stand tuned, and thanks for having me, Manuel. Thank you very much, Kevin. Thank you, and such a great program today. Yeah, KWCR. Well, I was on this radio station when I was a kid. <laughs> when I was like 18, 1978. Right. 79, just remember this, in 79. The Pirates won it, them Orioles were up 3-1. to one. <laughs> Remember their logo? And that was the capitulation. We are family. I got all my sisters with me. Brothers and sisters. We went from that to... We are me, 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 me. We have a selfish plague in this country. Me, me, me-ism. It's, and by the way, I want to say this because I 
in the support groups. I've run, I mean, I'm in the hardcore bone marrow transplant unit to this day. I deal with people every day. I sit with people as they die. I support group with that. Selfish people do very poorly with cancer. Very poorly. People that give up themselves, they do well with it. And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding about that. Stand tuning. KWCR. And remember, you can listen to the whole podcast if you go to kwcr.live. Also, you can go to Mixcloud slash kwcr to listen to all the Kevin Blanche's uh, podcasts about human news in the post years project. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Manuel. And have a great night. Thank you for you listening too. to Keep Tune on the KWCR Wildcat Radio from Weaver State University in Wampin, Utah. My name is Manuel Salazar. Have a good night.